Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, today's video is very kindly being sponsored by Banggood. Uh, they have sent me a couple of brushless ESCs to try. Uh, so I thought what we'd do, uh, we'd take our Comet Racer here and because they are incrementally larger outputs with regards to the amps, uh, we're going to see what effect a larger e ampage ESC has on the top speed of an RC. So the only thing we're going to be changing on the truck is basically the ESC. Now if you cast your mind back to the brushless conversion video I did on this thing, uh, you'll know it's got a 45 amp hour surpass hobby ESC in it at the moment. Not a particularly hot setup, uh, but it allowed the truck to go about, oh, I think it was about 25 miles an hour. So with these larger ampage uh, ESCs, you'd like to think we can get a bit more out of it. Now let's have a quick look at the ESCs that uh, Banggood have sent us. Uh, for first up, we've got a 60 amp hour what looks like a generic surpass hobby one to be honest um it uh, i think it'll run 2 and 3s this thing uh but it's i think it's basically the same same as the surpass hobby one it might sort of like put a generic brand i'll leave links in the description for all these anyway now the next one i might have dropped a bit of a rick on this but what? they've sent me a 150 amp surpass hobby unit god only knows where i'm going to put it see the size of it it's massive but anyway we're going to be trying this now uh, this will run anything from 2s to 6s uh, but what we'll have to do is make up like a little uh, blanking plug so we can run uh, we can just run 2s on it um because it's meant to it's meant to basically have uh, a couple of 3s batteries to turn it into uh, a 6s setup so what we'll have to do is just bridge one of these so we can run uh, 2s basically but that's the 150 amp uh, esc uh, as a, as opposed to that one uh, it's massive anyway uh, let's get this 60 amp uh, job fitted first and see what difference it makes Okay, that was a pretty straightforward installation. Uh, because this thing is basically a generic copy of a Surpass Hobby unit, it's basically the same footprint and it's slotted straight in. Uh, the wiring looks a bit of a rat's nest, but I'm not too interested about that because we're going to be ripping it out in a bit. Uh, now we're using the same uh, twin battery 2S setup as we did uh, when we tested the 45 amp one. So uh, everything should be the same. These are freshly charged. Uh, the only other thing to do now is take it outside and see if we can get any more than... 24 miles an hour out of it. Right, I've done a couple of full speed runs in the street outside using our little 60 amp ESC and the speed was 24.9 miles an hour. I'm going to call that 25. Now that's only a mile an hour quicker than our 45 amp surpass hobby unit. Uh, and I tell you what I did notice with this little generic uh, ESC, uh, you do get a little bit of cogging with it where there is none uh, whatsoever present with a Surpass Hobby unit. Now that isn't much of a gain, uh, so I'm wondering if two things aren't happening here. Either this uh, ESC doesn't actually pump out uh, the 60 amps, it says it does, and that cogging issue is a little bit strange, or... I'm being a bit thick here and all we're doing is reaching the volt per RPM limit of our KV 3300KV motor here. So it wouldn't matter how many amps I'd actually pumped into this thing, it would only ever go 24-25 miles an hour because that is its 2S voltage per RPM limit if you like. Anyway, uh, we're about to find out anyway because I'm going to try and shoehorn this thing in somewhere I've got to make like I say I've got to make uh, a little jumper for one of the connectors uh, but we'll soon find out if 150 amps uh, has any effect on the top speed right then that's that BC strapped in and look at that all the safety there uh, now I've made a little jumper cable for one of the battery terminals on the ESC so we can run 2S and we're going to be running the same dual 2S battery setup as we did before just to make it fair so I'm going to go out and find a slightly different location this time just in case this is significantly quicker because it's a bit ropey running up and down the street but anyway enough waffle uh, let's go and see what 150 amps does to the top speed right then we're outside and the speedo is zero let's give it death and see what happens
right then we've done a couple of full power runs and we've got 25 miles an hour out of it basically um, I think we, we, what's happened here is we've literally just reached the kV per volt limit of the motor so it doesn't matter how many amps we stick up it it's only going to go a certain speed so what I think I'm going to do is we're going to pull that bumper off uh, on one of the battery terminals and we're going to try this on 4S we may as well we've got the batteries here so we may as well try this on 4S and see what happens Right then, back inside. Now then, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that it doesn't matter how many amps you put through a motor, if it's reached its uh, revolutions per volt limit, uh, you're not going to get any more top speed out of it by applying more amps. It's purely just down to applying some more voltage. You might get a bit more urgency and grunt out of it, but as far as top speed goes, uh, it's going to remain pretty much the same. I've learned that this generic brushless ESC isn't as good as the 45 amp surpass hobby ESC that I took off. Uh, in fact, uh, you do get a little bit of cogging with this where it's just not present on the surpass one or this one for that matter. I've also learned that this thing is absolutely bonkers on 4S. It's virtually uncontrollable. I mean, you can literally give it a third to a half throttle and any more than that and the thing just spins out. I mean, I tried and tried uh, over and over to get uh, top speed after this there was no chance I literally I got 34.2 miles an hour out of it but as soon as you give it sort of above third to a half throttle the thing just spins out it's just it's uncontrolled it's absolutely bonkers and to think this thing will run uh, 6s through it as well I mean this motor isn't a particularly hot or high kV uh, motor 3300 kV so it's just absolutely bonkers so conclusion time, would I recommend this cheap generic ESC? Uh, I'm probably going to say no actually. You're better off spending a few extra quid and get the Surpass Hobby version. <laughs> would I recommend the 150 amp hour Surpass Hobby unit? Absolutely yes. If you want to do speed runs, I think this is an excellent place to start. It's just nuts. Uh, I mean like I say, it'll run up to 6S which is just absolutely bonkers. Anyway, a big thank you to Banggood for supplying these two ESCs to the channel for review. Uh, if you're interested in either one of them, I shall put some links in the description below to where you can get them from. And if you found this video of some use and interest, uh, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe button for more similar future content. Once again, guys, I'll catch you again very soon. Thanks for watching.